systems when you are producing your uh, nano coating use fire only when you are producing your co2 guns do not put your plates inside create a system that you can put copper oxide nano coated and the zinc that the gas you produce here is a pure co2 when you place your system we want to produce zinc only zinc nano plate you put your copper nano coated here and the zinc inside This is important. From now on, precision counts. And those of you who understand it, will achieve it. When you're using copper oxide, make sure your copper oxide is of the specific at every time across your use of production. When you are using a system to produce protein, make sure your protein is created by this condition not by zinc inside it. You only use a protein which is pure. And that is when you place the plate outside. To find this gap, to create this condition that you start getting gas, is not very easy. One of the ways I've done before, is I use a plastic bags, where I can thinner the bag, I can increase the bag, but I stick the nano coated and the zinc on the bag. So by changing the size, you bring the proximity closer or whatever, and then you suddenly see you produce a lot of CO2, and in some places you see you produce a lot of, uh, what I call, uh, amino acid. As I said, firing is the most important way to do it. Creating nanomaterial is the most important thing to do it. Those of you who you've been looking for a pure CO2, especially for health reason, explore this. And it's so easy to make CO2. Do not use seawater. Under no circumstances, any of your trials, use seawater. because you don't know what is the content of the seawater you're using. It has everything which is on this planet. Any other question? <laughs>